Ruby's Mailbag. Dear Ruby, what do I do about skeletons in the closet? Signed, Worried to the Bone. Well, Worried, there's nothing to be worried about. Right, Doom? After all, everybody has skeletons in their closet. Some of them are my best friends. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? It does sound cool, but I wonder where it's coming from. The closet? It's not like you can fit a whole band in there. Hi, Ruby. The Skeletoons and I are recording a new album. The acoustics are great in here. Why don't you slip on in and listen to us cats lay one down? Thanks for the invite, Skullboy. But I'll just wait for the record. Cool, Kitty. Oh, and, uh, uh Doom Kitty? Later. What do you know? You can fit a whole band in there. Like I said, everyone has skeletons in the closet. Some of us more than others. out with my songwriting, Doom. You make a great metronome. I think I've got something here. Attention, people! Crew on set in 10 minutes! 10 minutes, please! Catchy tune, by the way. Thanks. You're welcome. Nine and a half minutes, people! Crew on set in nine and a half! Did you hear that? Skullboy liked my music. <laughs> You're right. I think he is making a film. I wish I knew where he was shooting it, though. In the graveyard! Uh, just so you know. I got my wish. Good morning, people! Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me, Skull Boy. You know, there is no need to amplify your voice. We are in your proximity. Yeah, and we're real close, too. Oh, sorry, guys. It's just... I've called you all here to make a big, big announcement! I've decided to make my first full-length feature film! I really like the home movies you shot at Poe's birthday. Indeed. You managed to capture all of my best sides. And that got me thinking that maybe I'm descended from a long line of big-time Hollywood hot shots. So, who, might I inquire, have you cast as your dashing lead? Glad you asked, Poe. I'm not only running and directing this boffo flick, I'm also playing its matinee idol hero. The name's Kid. Skull Kid. But I'm gonna need your help, people. If it's okay with you. Everyone gets their own copy of my soon-to-be-a-blockbuster script. <laughs> I've written your job descriptions on each cover. Music? Me? I really like the piece I heard you play earlier. It'd make great theme music for my film. Really? Wow! I'm a composer. Ahem. You okay, Frank? Want some water? Of course, you'll be backed by our resident guitar maestros, the indispensable Frank and Len. Killer! Right on. Great. Let's get to it. Want that water now, Frank? We start shooting tonight, people! First up, the scene where Skull Kid confronts the fierce griffin! Ah, the griffin! A mythical half-lion and half-eagle beastie. You got it, Poe Baby! Iris, costumes are your department! Half-lion, half-eagle! Gotcha! Great, great, great! Let's get started! Light on the set! Lights! Camera! Cue the fierce griffin! And action! Cut! Um, Iris, your griffin is kind of more cute than fierce. You think so? Thanks! Hmm. I might have to rethink this part. We're moving on to the big eruption scene, people! Poe, baby, how's that molten lava spewing volcano coming along? 
go uh, wonderfully, although it still requires a little work. It's a bit tiny, isn't it? For some reason, I ran out of flour and newspaper. Gregory? Yellen? I can't seem to move. Yahoo! Anyone? Well, keep working on it. I want a big, big! Moving on to the crowd scene, people! Ha-ha! <laughs> you wouldn't let me down, kid. Tell me you found enough extras. Well, not quite, but I have a solution. We can create a huge angry mob using smoke and mirrors. Well, just mirrors, actually. <laughs> I am extremely allergic to smoke, you know. Arg! There he is! Woo! Get him! Oh, who am I kidding? That would not even scare me. Couldn't get a monster, couldn't get a volcano, couldn't get a crowd. This film is a disaster. Misery catering service. At your, um, service. <laughs> Oops. Ow. No. Sorry, guys. I can't remember what I played before. And that's my job as a music composer. No, oh, I know what you're gonna say, Doom. It may be bad for me, but it's worse for Skullboy. It's his movie. I better go tell him. <sighs> hey, Skullboy. How'd the first day of filming go? Terrible. Not one thing went right. Really? Not one thing? Nope. But at least I'll have a great musical score. You're really gonna save my film with that catchy tune you wrote. Yeah. How did that go again? <laughs> you kidder. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Yeah. Me too. I just wish the rest of the film was going as smoothly. Maybe you just need to scale it back a bit. Do something you know. My drawings! They moved! Look! Hey, that's pretty funny. Thanks! Maybe I actually come from a long line of animators. <gasps> that's it! Instead of filming my Skull Kid adventure, I'll animate it! Whatever I need, I just draw! Of course, I'll still need your great score. Music and animation go together like the toe bones connected to the uh, foot bone. Great! I better get, uh, connected. Good news, Skullboy. I have managed to recruit a swarm of mosquitoes for your crowd scene. No need for crowd, Scaredy. I'm making a cartoon instead. <gasps> oh, a cartoon. Oh, how exciting. I'm calling it The Animated Adventures of Skull Kid. Come on, I'll show you around the cartoon factory. This here's the design department, and this is a model sheet for my cartoon alter ego, Skull Kid. Well, you know, it looks just like you, only much smaller and very much flatter. I plan to avoid using repeat pans in my cartoon. You know, the ones where the characters pass by the same thing over and over again? Yes, that invariably looks cheesy. Here, I'll show you a few scenes I've shot so far. Oops, must have shot those backwards. Really? Well, I found the hero's reaction extremely believable. Oh my, Skull Kid appears to have lost his head. Oh, no, there it is. It now appears I am seeing double. Ah, that is much better. And now, not so much. So, what do you think so far? Oh, I cannot wait until it is finished. In fact, I am going to camp out right now in anticipation of its big premiere. And that, based on what I did today, should be in... <laughs> three years? That's gonna be one long camp out. My live action Skull Kid didn't work. The animated version will take forever to finish. Now what? Wait, what did Ruby say earlier when I wasn't listening? 
blaggity blah blah do something you know. Blah blah blaggity blah blah. Hmm? Something I know. That's it. I'll sit my cartoon here in Gloomsville and base it on everyone I know. Best of all, with me and my friends as the characters, the new script will practically write itself. Well, it might need a little nudge. I am very sorry, Mr. Buns. I have no idea when the exciting Skull Kid cartoon will begin, you know. La, la, la. La, la. Ruby! Hi, guys. What you got there? <laughs> oh, a casting call, Ruby. Skullboy requires thespians to voice his animated film about a group of fascinating friends. <laughs> We're going to rehearse together. Want to come, Ruby? Thanks, but I still have Skullboy's movie music to write. Have fun. It seems like Skullboy's really hit on something with this cartoon thing. So, Iris, I'd like you to read for the part of happy-go-lucky Irene. Uh, Irene? Well, I was thinking of reading for glum and morose Mona. I just feel like, like, I know her. That's quite possible. Mona, take one. Wow, it sure looks like rain. Hopefully it's not acid rain. Did I ever tell you what happened to my great-great-great-great-great-great-nana when it rained? Oh, it was really bad. And I just washed my hair, too. Ow! Figures! So? Great. Next. I would like to read for the role of fun-loving, energetic Irene. Not glum, low-energy Mona? No. I don't really get her. Okay. Irene, take one. Come on. Let's go. And do some adventures. Whee! <coughs> Crash. I'm... I'm good. Really... great. Next. Today, I shall read for the part of the exceedingly handsome and, and somehow oddly familiar Byron. I have, however, taken my quill to the script, as I felt a character so paramount to the story warranted considerably more screen time. Now, for my first line, I would add at least three more adjectives. Crikey! I feel faint! It's okay, Freddy Bat. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. Wow, you sound great, Skullboy. Thanks. I've decided to do all the voices myself. Hey, are those your characters? Sapphire Somber? She sort of looks like me. She's not really you. She's just based on you, like the others. Mona? Frady Bat? Fred and Ed? You are making a cartoon about us. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to show you. Ow. 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 This next scene features a character I based on Doom. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Chitty Chat Kitty? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think. With my new limited animation approach, I'm just churning the scenes out. So? What do you think? I'm speechless, unlike Chitty Chat Kitty. Things are going so well, I'm premiering my cartoon tonight. Would you mind handing out these invites for me? By the way, when can I get your music to add to my animation? Oh, I'll, uh, get it to you in time. Speaking of time, I better get going. See ya. And speaking of going, I need to visit the little animator's room. No skull boy. <sighs> I was hoping to check on the progress of his long-awaited cartoon. Well, I am sure he would not mind if his biggest fan took a peek. Just a little peek. <gasps> what? Excuse me, but this is not a skull kid adventure. Is that funny bird there supposed to be Paul? There is Ruby, but what 
Not really, Ruby. How exciting! A cartoon about us! <laughs> oh, wait till everyone hears of this! Whoa! No. Ow! Oh, it's no use. I better tell Skullboy I can't remember the tune. Ah, uh, Ruby, do you know anything about Skullboy's animated picture? The one in which he plans to mock us unmercifully? Uh, Poe's words, not mine. He showed me some of it, but he's not really making fun of us. Oh, but I fear he is. From what I can tell, Skullboy turned me into an oblivious chatterbox and Misery into some sort of disaster magnet. Ow. How could he be so insensitive? Oh, sorry. I never meant to be insensitive. I have to set this right. What I saw of Skullboy's cartoon looked funny to me. But you can see for yourself. He's invited us all to the premiere tonight. See you there. Like Ruby said, the scenes with Byron were most amusing. Oh, as were the cartoon antics of the brothers, Fred and Ed. Fred and Ed do sound pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, especially Ed. I hope Skullboy doesn't take it too hard when I tell him I don't have his movie score. Skullboy, there's something I have to tell you. No need, Ruby. I heard everything. Don't worry about a thing. Really? You're not disappointed? I understand completely, but the show must go on. You're a great guy. I mean, that's great, guy. See you tonight. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for making it to my cartoon premiere. Uh, I really hope you like me. It? Uh, like it? Respect, Ishness. Understanding, Ivity. Mindful, Ishness. That is... Friendship is me. Skullboy, what happened to your funny cartoon ishness? I kind of overheard what Poe said about me being insensitive. Y you did? Uh huh. So, I chucked that cartoon and made a new one that didn't make fun of my friends. <gasps> but we came to see the crazy cartoon antics of Fred and Ed. And Irene, and Mona, and Freddy Bat. Oh, and Sapphire. Well, don't forget Byron. Too bad you chucked it, huh? Well, I didn't literally chuck it. Yoinks! <laughs> that muck monster's eating our house. Somebody do something! I meant to stop the monster. Oh. oh. Skull Kid will stop it. Once I pull myself together... Egad! We're doomed! Doomed, I say! We're not doomed, Byron. We just need a doom cake picnic party. <laughs> Way to go, go Byron! Of course, I was that close to implementing the same plan myself. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I was such a comic genius. I think the real genius around here is a certain animator. Speaking of genius, whatever happened to your catchy tune, Ruby? I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> That's it. Guess it was catchy after all. What are we waiting for? Let's rock! What's with the camera, Skullboy? Animation was way too much work, so I've decided to make a live-action documentary instead. Sounds great. What's it about? Life in Gloomsville. I just shot a great scene of Poe getting out of his bird bath. Skullboy! I'm going to get you and your little camera, too! 
Oh, yeah, great acting. Give it to me, baby. Yes, yes. Oh, your anger almost seems real. An animated minute with Skull Boy. And Scaredy Bot. Hi, everyone. Inspired by this cool book, Animation for Boneheads, I decided to make my own portable cartoon theater. Ah, it looks like Scaredy's volunteered to demonstrate it for us. Ooh, oh dear, I have? I drew these poses myself, each one part of a walking action. Now, I just pin them to the hat brim and start the engine. As the brim turns, the drawings kind of melt together, and they create the illusion of movement known as animation. Oh, you are right. My cartoon self appears to be walking. <laughs> and now I am running, <laughs> running like the wind. <laughs> oh. You okay, Scaredy? Oh, yes. But I fear that all of this running has left me very tired. Oh. Good night. <laughs>